What's up YouTube, Quan here, back at another video. So, we finally did it guys. The year long battle is done. We're not stopping here, but I finally made it one year sober from alcohol after drinking daily for 12 years. And the, what I wanna show you guys today is that, yeah, things are gonna be hard. Yeah, they're gonna be struggles, but you can truly accomplish anything when you really put your mind to it and dedicate yourself to the process. You've got to enjoy the process of getting better. Let's get to this video and let's have some fun. Let's go. So pre-2022, I was one of those guys that just wanted to please everyone. I wanted everyone to like me. I wanted them to think I was cool. And I, I did what I had to do to get there, whether if it was partying, drinking, doing other things. I just wanted to please people. Along the way, I realized that that just wasn't the way to go. So starting back in 2012, I was a college football player, played, played football, ran track, really enjoyed what I was doing. And I ended up having bad grades, got kicked out of school, and that was when I fully started to fall apart. I started working at a gym, and when I was working at that gym, I started partying with the other staff members, and that's when I started drinking my heaviest. I drank a lot when I was in college, but I started to drink extremely heavy as I was, you know, trying to get them to like me, wanted to feel older. I was a 20-year-old trainer. Everybody else was like in their mid-30s, late-30s. You know, you're just trying to be cool. You're trying to work with people. And uh, it was really, really tough, folks. Through that process of trying to please my coworkers and please other people, I started to officially lose myself. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where I was going. Wasn't confident as a trainer. Wasn't confident in my relationships. I just was kind of going wherever the wind blew me. And over my first three years of my career, I didn't realize I had a problem. I just was doing what everyone else was doing. But it wasn't until I almost got fired for missing appointments from being hungover that I truly realized that something was wrong. And that was the first time I tried to quit alcohol. And that was in 2015 lasted about two days. <laughs> it didn't work. I got back to drinking and I just told myself that this is the new normal and this is okay. And truthfully, it wasn't. Fast forward to about 2017, 2018, I decided I wanted to leave that big box gym that I worked at and I wanted to start my own business. But because I wasn't the greatest employee, I'd had a good year, but the previous years I hadn't developed those good habits yet. So when I started my own business, I was still missing appointments, still having issues and it, it ruined my reputation. And over the next couple of years, 2018 to 2020, though my drinking got worse, I was working so hard to please people again, to build my reputation up. Though I was successful, I found myself super intoxicated, super drunk way too often. I developed a system where I would drink till about one in the morning most days, get up around four when I felt okay still, and would train my morning clients, and then midday I would crash, which is never a good way to do things. So we get to 2020, I feel like I need a change. My girlfriend and I decide to move to Los Angeles. I get to Los Angeles, I'm no longer doing any hard substances. I'm still drinking because prime COVID folks, it was absolutely horrible. But during that struggle, that's when I decided to get into YouTube and getting to doing content more seriously. I started watching videos on how to edit, how to film with what I had available, whether it's my iPhone or you know, a GoPro, whatever it was, and I started to develop content. And when I started doing the content, that's when I met all the people you guys see me working with all the time. But I had this dirty secret when I was working with them. These people looked at me as this strong, athletic guy. My nickname in the basketball community here is the MetaHuman. People looked at me as this larger than life dude that always had his stuff together. A far contrast from the life I lived in Chicago. But I was hiding a secret. I was still drinking heavy. I was managing a gym, training with all these people, doing all this stuff that I dreamed of doing. But I was drinking till one or two o'clock in the morning every day, showing up to work, you know, mouthwash in hand and just trying to get through the day. So that's basically how things got started. But when I decided that I wanted to get sober, it was just, it was one of those situations where, you know, I tried multiple times. Even back in 2017, I had tried to get sober and it didn't work out. But as we move on to this part of the video, I just want to briefly give you guys some tips on how you can get sober and stay sober. A, support systems are very important, whether that's AA or close friends, girlfriend, best friend, whatever it is. Make sure the people around you understand how important it is for you to not drink. If you're around people that are pressuring you to drink, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to be successful in the long run. Another thing that I realized was you're gonna have so many ups and downs. I mean, the first two weeks alone, I felt like I never gone through withdrawals, but I'm pretty sure that was what withdrawals are like, sweating, irritable, sick, all of that stuff. It was really horrible. And um, But I, I had some great support from my girlfriend, great support from my family, just talking on the phone, stuff like that helped a lot. And also understand that those ups and downs are making you stronger and making you better. When you have an alcohol issue like I have, it's not something that's ever gonna fully go away, right? It's something where your body's dependent, you feel like you need it, but you learn how to manage those feelings a lot better. Over the course of this last year, I've learned to become a much stronger man in general. My anger is different. Uh, my personality has changed quite a bit. And I just am starting to feel like 
I'm really at that point where, you know, I feel like I can defeat this. Will I ever drink again? I never say never, but I look at it like this. I'm not drinking today. And I think if you look at it like that, you're just not going to do it today. Whatever it is, drugs, alcohol, whatever, you're going to become so much stronger. So I encourage you all to make a commitment this year. I know today is New Year's when I release this, but whenever you see this, make a commitment to yourself to change your life and become the person that you've always wanted to be. This year, this past year, wouldn't have gone the way it went if I hadn't gotten sober. My relationship's improving, my relationships with my clients are improving, my friends, and I feel like I'm able to attack life a lot easier. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video and, and you know joining this story with me. And we have to just remember that we all have struggles, all right? So we're gonna close this video out. If you guys ever need help or need anything from me, hit me up, shoot me a DM, shoot me a message, make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's close out the rest of this video. I appreciate you guys though. Let's get it. So in closing folks, I, I, like I told you, I really want this to be inspiring for you. I want you to understand that we're all the same. You guys, some of you have been following me for years. You know that you've seen me accomplish things while I was going through this struggle. Because remember, illness is not always visible. Addiction is not always visible. We are all going through these types of things together. So if you ever need help, feel free to comment, shoot me a message. I've got you. And in terms of training, if you ever need a training program or anything like that, you know I got you guys. But this isn't necessarily about that. Just wanted to remind you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Let's keep this journey going. Let's keep checking in. And you know the deal. My name's Quan, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.